Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Now we've been using Quant Connect quite a bit recently in our training bots in Python series. And today I wanted to show you how you can really improve your Quant Connect development experience by A, being able to use an IDE of your choice and B, being able to version control it with Git and upload your algos to GitHub. So let's get started and have a look at what's going to be enabling this. So Quant Connect have recently released a new plugin called Skylight. And what this plugin allows you to do is to sync the algorithms that you've coded in the cloud with your local desktop. Now it's available for all the platforms, so all you have to do is just download it. It's a real quick install, one click, that's it. And then you'll see it appearing in your toolbar at the bottom. So you can see it's this logo here. Now when you first get it, you're gonna see it says login. So all you're gonna do is click login. And if you're logged in, already on your browser then it will automatically log you in. Now that you're done logging in you can now click sync and so what this will do is it will sync all of the algorithms that we have on the web as you can see here with our local machine in a folder in your user directory so you can see c users ollie quant connect and here it's got our username and if you go in there you can see we've got all of our algorithms. Now if you go inside these folders you can see it's got all the files that we expect to see inside our algorithm and it's also got this little QC project file which is simply some metadata giving you the name, the language and a couple of created and modified dates. So let's start off with the first way of improving your Quant Connect developing experience. So we can open these algorithms up as a project in your favourite IDE. So here I'm going to open it as a PyCharm project. Great there you go so you can see we've got our main script here and all of the other Python files that we have in our algorithm. Now, one of the advantages of using your local IDE is that you can have things like code completion. So if we just set up a project interpreter, here's one that should have a couple of packages in it. Now, if we do df equals pd dot, there you go, it's showing us the ways to complete it. Here we go, index, zero, one, and then columns, etc you get the idea and so you can see that we've made a change in our code so once you've finished coding in your local IDE you can then backtest it on the cloud so to do this what we do is we go down back to our taskbar back to the skylight icon down here click sync again and now when we go back to our web library and into our project if we look at the alpha model we can see that we've got the line that we added locally. So this makes developing a lot easier You, as you're a lot more used to your own IDE. It will make developing a lot faster, a lot cleaner because you'll be able to see the mistakes that you make. So if I say that x equals sum plus mean and then carry on and forget that I had never actually declared and instantiated this object, it will automatically point it out. Whereas if we look on Quant Connect, on the Quant Connect IDE, if I do sum plus mean, we can carry on and it doesn't notify us. So there you can see we've got a lot of benefit for working locally. Great, so let's click sync again. Let's head back into our project and you can see it just disappeared. So it allows for really quick developing. Now let's have a look at the second part of improving our experience and that is being able to version control our algorithms using Git. Okay, so I'm gonna assume that you've got to Git installed and you have some basic knowledge about Git. So let's open a Git bash here and now we can initialize a git repository. Cool, so let's just create a quick git ignore to ignore the PyCharm files. Cool, and then let's do git status. And you can see that it has got all of our algorithm files. So let's add those and create an initial commit. There we go, great, we've got our git repository. And now if we check, everything's all good. Let's have a look in our PyCharm again. Let's say we make a change. Let's say we don't want the absolute sum, we just want the normal sum, do that, you can see it's pointed out now that we've got a change here. So this is another reason why working locally is really helpful because if you can't remember where you've made a change on the web ID, then you're, you're kind of stuck unless you just keep undoing. So we've made that change, let's go back into our git window and add that. Let's just give that commit message test and then we run sync, we'll all be up to date on, on the web as well to run a backtest. There you go. So as you can see, version controlling is really powerful, especially for something as crucial as a trading algorithm where one change can make quite a big difference. So let's recommit this. Cool, so you can see that we can use Git locally to version control our algorithm. Now let's have a look at putting it up onto GitHub so we can collaborate and share our algorithms. So let's head on to GitHub, let's create a new repository. Let's call this trading bot one. 
and then create repository. It might also be worth to git ignore the QC project as well. Okay, so let's put that in git status. Let's update the git ignore. Cool. And now let's grab the commands here and paste them in. And this should push our algorithm up onto GitHub. So let's reload our page and there you go. We've got our algorithm on GitHub. And so now you've got all the benefits of GitHub to use with your Quant Connect algorithms. As you can see, the ability to be able to sync your algorithms from the web, to be able to bag test them, and then to be able to develop on them locally is a really powerful tool which opens up unlimited possibilities. I know I'll definitely be using this to version control my algorithms from now on. It's a really great tool. I'm really happy that they added it. Great, so I hope you've enjoyed this video and it's helped you. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you could drop a like and make sure to subscribe if you would like to see more content like this. And as always, you can drop me a message on LinkedIn, tweet me at Twitter, or leave a comment below if you've got any questions, suggestions, or any comments. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.